Hello and welcome to the video, it's me, Winner and Jade speaking where we left off last time where I dealt with Spain because they went to war with me, so I took them over completely, finished colonizing over here in the Americas completely, and then went on and took over Portugal and did a bit more colonizing after that, trying to just close things off over here in Africa, but at that point I'd be in recording so long I just decided to go ahead and have an episode there, but uh, yeah. This is all that's left, Russia basically, and England I guess. But for the most part, right here at the beginning, I'm just going to very quickly just go through and finish the colonizing here in Africa. And doing with this little country here, since um, yeah, I'm going to have to fight wars from this point on, because this relation bug, that's just makes it zero, and it makes it impossible to actually send ultimatums. So yeah, go through, do pro colonization over here with this stuff and get troops ready to deal with that I guess yeah so I'll just get to work on that quickly here Well, okay, I got Africa finished now, and I'm kind of preparing to go after England. But while that's going, I think I will take over Uzbek over here and try and get this done. I'm going to guess they're going to capitulate this turn. No. Oh. Wow. A bit more resilient than I thought they would be. Oh, there we go. Got that done. Take them over. There we go. Lost to war twice, many troop. Much there, honestly. Okay, sure. Let's see. Gonna have to align troops up on the border there. Got this area to colonize, I guess. So yeah, colonize that stuff since Russia has no interest in doing it. I guess I'll colonize that as well. I guess. Eh, maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm getting close to wrapping things up. Just need to wait for troops to get ready and everything. Line up all troops from this border with Russia here. Once I get England done, I can move all these other troops around and have them prepare for going to war with Russia as well. Yeah. But right now I got province built to here to do for all the land I just took from Uzbek. Gotta wait for troops to line up with everything for England. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go after England at this point, and I kind of went through and got all these little countries here to go to war with Russia. Purely just so they're basically gone, and there's fewer countries over here, and the borders look a little bit nicer. This area here is going to be the only exception, really, because they're a vassal of England, and then there's also them, which kind of connects that, I guess. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go to war with England now and take them over. Well, that was easy. They capitulated very quickly there. Okay, sure. Send all these troops down to Dover and the rest of these troops. Troops over here. Uh, I'll send over to Amsterdam right quick, then regroup them and spread them out along the border properly. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That is the rest of the Americas officially under my control, and all of England under my control there as well. Good. 
We got Denmark as well. Nice. Okay, so province ability, of course. Go ahead and do that. And get troops prepared to continue on around here. And lining up on this border here and everything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm basically done at this point, and apparently after I got this country to go to war with Russia, they somehow end up getting a peace deal with Landor here. No idea how that happens, but, uh, sure. I'll go to war with them. I'll reduce the length of my board with Russia over here, which is great. There we go. But, yeah, I'm basically ready at this point. So I got a lot of troops, 44 million, basically, and most, almost every single province on my border has 200,000 troops in it at this point, which is great. There's just a few exceptions, just due to the fact that I don't really think I need that many troops in those areas, like these here, because they're all going to be attacking one province here. So, yeah, besides stuff like that, I'm basically good here. And apparently, one of the bugs that's into wiping out of my troops that are currently moving got rid of the entire army that was going to there. Okay. Sure, there we go. 200,000 troops along this entire border until I get up to here, where it's 100,000. Went and colonized this stuff here. Just make this bit quicker to take. So, yeah. Russia is constantly dealing with rebellions because of how high their unrest around here is. So, yeah, I got that to deal with later on, I guess. But, I am ready for the war here. Hmm. Yeah. Where is Lichtenstein at? Oh. Yeah, three provinces there. Your allies. Huh. Lichtenstein and Russia are allies. Okay. Sure. I guess. But here we go. It is time for the final war. Considering they are the only ones left. Okay, this is everything for the first time, and apparently there is actually more provinces around here that I didn't have troops in for some reason. Like that one there, where it only had 4,000 troops, and this one that only had 40,000 troops for some reason. Now, I don't understand why I don't have, didn't have any troops in those provinces, considering I'm pretty sure I did have troops in all those provinces. But apparently I didn't. But, yeah, here we go. How quickly is Russia going to capitulate? <laughs> All the troops they got around in this area are going to slow me down a bit when it comes to pushing into Ukraine, basically, but... Eh. I'll be able to have free reign over the rest of our country, pretty much, until then. Pretty sure. 14% in the first turn, huh? Nice! And they basically lost half a million their population there. And basically half a million troops. Go along with it, I guess. 400,000 troops. So nearly twice as much as what I've lost. Nice. Continue pushing forward over here. And stuff. Don't really need to adjust anything. Currently. Okay, let's see how they do in this turn. Gonna be closing up a lot of this stuff in the southern 
southern Germany here. Good. I doubt those troops. Nice. Approaching Paris. Split them across there. Good. Twenty-eight percent. Two turns. Nice. Don't think it's going to take very long before I get all Mongolia under my control. Just a few turns, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure Russia is actually going to capitulate before I actually get Mongolia fully under my control over here. And I'm probably going to have a lot of this over here in Europe under my control very quickly. Yeah. Basically two turns to get all of that there. Me. Three turns to get to there, by the looks of it. So that should be, could be the only province left over here in Germany to take after the next two turns. France is going to take a little bit longer because, well, don't really have anything over here to work with. Just gotta expand some along these fronts. Okay, one million troops right there. Nothing I can really do about that, because I just don't really have that many troops over there. Unless I basically had all the troops in the entire area attack. Which I mean I wouldn't be able to continue pushing forward. So that's 300,000 troops there, basically. Okay. Forty-two percent now, in three turns. Russia has over three million casualties, but that's half of that's half of that is their popu population they've lost. Okay, well, I've only lost one million of my forty-four million troops I had. Yeah, Russia stands absolutely no fucking chance whatsoever against me. Okay, here we go. Fourth turn. And honestly, I'm not even going to be surprised if Russia capitulates in this turn. Considering I'm currently up to 42% on the Iron War. How much am I going to be up to after this turn? Don't really know, but it's possible that they could capitulate, I think. And so yeah, literally only a province left over here. Now, and then all this stuff in France. I think that's still like a million troops there, I think. Well, there we go. As I said, wasn't really going to be surprised if they capitulated in this turn. And they did. Uh, man. So, Lichtenstein. Just gotta deal with them now, I guess. And deal with those rebellion. The country that's come out of results out. That's rebellion rights there, I guess. There we go. Go with Crimea. There. Good. Now I'm just going to wait for these rebels right here to become their own country. And then take them over and then I'll get to peace with Russia. Just so I don't sit around forever trying to do stuff, I guess. I guess while I'm at it, I'll kind of go along over here and colonize this stuff, I guess. Because why not? Okay, time to finish things up. Just gotta take over them right there and I will be done. Nice. Take that. And over here. That. And Russia with there. All that. Okay. There we go. Done. There we go. Great. So. That there is in this series already. God damn. It's only what? Episode 5 or something? Yeah, I think this is episode 5, if I remember correctly. 
So, yeah, finished in five episodes. Jesus Christ. But, uh, yeah, that there is in this series, I guess, here. Get all that thing there. One more right there. There we go. But, yeah, there we go. Done. Got the entire world under control, and I can even do that. Which I was going to do at some point, to be honest, but I ended up being getting to points where Russia was the final country I took over, basically. And I kind of needed all this over here from Russia. So, yeah, never got around to getting that done. So, yeah, there we go. But, uh, yeah, timeline next for this, I guess. And then I gotta figure out what I'm going to do next after this one. So, yeah, I'll figure that out later. But for now, that's there is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.